Hey everyone! Sometimes people comment on GitHub issues on a Cypress project. For example, this GitHub issue number 390 gets a lot of angry replies. This user is very angry, calling Cypress black, having a black mark, ivory tower thinking. Anytime you know you see a comment like this on an issue that has been open for like you know four years in this case. Uh, it, it probably means user doesn't understand what we're doing, right? So let me show you how to run specs in deterministic order that doesn't match the order on disk. I prepared a project with three specs, spec 1, spec 2, spec 3. If I just run Cypress right now, it will run them in alphabetical order, right? It found three files, spec 1, spec 2, three. spec 3. It runs spec 1 first, then it runs spec 2. And then it runs spec 3. Okay, I think this is expected, right? And now let's say you want to run spec 2, spec 3, spec 1. How do you do it? Go back to your plugins file or your Cypress config file. You have this setup node events. And let's look at the config. This is the config with all the settings that Cypress gives you when you run it. Okay, so I'm going to run Cypress and just stop it. So you see all the settings that Cypress allows you to control when the Cypress runs. The most interesting that you probably will look at is the spec pattern. You can specify how Cypress finds the files that it considers the specs. Right now it uses wildcard. Okay. Well, why don't we do the following? We'll say config spec pattern and we'll give explicitly Cypress end to end and we want to run spec 2 first. Then we would like to run spec 3 and let's say spec 1. And it's very important to return the config so Cypress knows that you modified one of the config values. So what happens now? Okay, so it found spec 2, spec 3, spec 1, and started running spec 2, moving on to spec 3, and finishing with spec 1. The order that I used in the spec pattern in the config or plugins file. That's it. You know, ivory tower thinking. 